amongst the various institutions, which gives power, just like one stick can easily be broken, but many sticks in a bundle can't be broken. So Maya can break us when we're one or just a few, but when we're many, together combined, Maya or illusion, the deluding potency, cannot break us. So because today there's another program with Srila Maharaj right after this one, about 20 minutes from here, in the home of Rasaraj Prabhu, and that will start around 2.30. So this program, which usually ends at 3, will be cut short. So we're going to try to have all the speaking completed around 1, 1 1.15, so that anyone who wants to go to the next program can easily go. So I'll just say a few words before Srila Maharaj speaks, which is uh, coming from our Srila Gurudev's Harmony book on how to deal with each other. There was once a self-realized soul, a lady, very beautiful but very old, and she had a nine-year-old son. And her main source of in income was begging, and she would spend most of her time engaged in the worship of her deities of the Lord. So in the early mornings, she would send out her son to pick flowers to make garlands for the deities. So one morning, the boy picking flowers got bit by a big black snake and he immediately turned blue and died. It just so happens that there was a hunter nearby and he saw what happened. So he knew a mantra for uh, controlling snakes. So he said that mantra and the snake went into his basket. He closed the basket, put the boy over his arms and went to see the mother, who as soon as she saw her dead son, began wailing, weeping uncontrollably. When she calmed down, the hunter told her what happened and said, oh mother, please give me the order to kill this snake. And the mother said, oh, because she was very spiritual, realized soul. Oh, will I bring back my son? And he said, no. Then no need to kill him, but he may kill someone else. Still, she said no. But the hunter, being independent, wanted to chop up the snake in pieces anyway. When he was just about to do so, the snake began to speak all of a sudden and said, don't blame me. I've been in this bush for years and I haven't bitten anyone before. If you want to blame someone, you could blame Kal or time. Time was responsible. Then all of a sudden, the personality of time named Kal, he appeared on the scene and he said, don't blame me. It was the result of the boy's sinful activities from his past life. That was the cause of his death by the snake. The snake was a boy and this boy killed that boy. So he came back as a snake from his own fruit of activities and killed this boy. So the point of the story is, we can't blame anyone for anything that happens to us. Everything is the law of karma or action and reaction. As you sow, so shall you weep. We're the cause of our own experience. Then there was just how not to blame someone. Our Shikshi Guru Shilabhakti Balabtirtha Goswami Maharaj said that for many, many births, we've been engaging in various fruitive and sinful activities. And therefore we're suffering in this body and that body and the previous body and the future body is destined for us. And everything is the grace of the Lord to teach us not to do anything that's against our real self-interest. Our real self-interest is serving the Lord because we're part and parcel of Him. 
So if we blame others or situations for our suffering, then we miss out on the grace of the Lord. There's another nice history of two sages, and they were drinking water by the river. And one of the sages saw a scorpion in the river, and he was drowning and flapping. And so the sage picked him up. So what is a scorpion going to do? He bit the hand of the sage. And by that, the sage jerked, and he went back in the water and started drowning again. So the sage picked him up again, and that happened a couple of more times. And finally, the other sage, his friend, said to him, why do you keep picking up this scorpion? Because he's just going to bite you every time. And then the sage who picked up the scorpion said, no, he is my guru, because he's teaching not to change my nature. Just as he, even though I'm helping him, does not change his nature as a scorpion to bite viciously. Similarly, why should I, being a compassionate sage, change my nature? Very good instruction. Then, another instance, there was a devotee in Vrindavan going around and begging alms, not for his own benefit, but for the benefit of the potential donor. So he would go around Vrindavan, Radhe, 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 Jai, 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 Shri Radhe, knocking on the various doors. In one of the doors, there was an old lady, and she was cleaning with cow dung, using a rag that was filthy and torn and smelly, and she was cleaning her house with cow dung. And she said, what are you doing here, you beggar? Don't come back again. So what did he do? He came back the next day, and then she said, if you come back here, one more time, I'm going to break your back with my stick. So he left, and then he came back once more, and she violently, viciously threw the rag at him. And so he happily picked it up and left. And then he broke the rag, ripped the rag into little teeny pieces. And with each piece, he made a gear. He, first he washed the rag in the Jamuna River, a very sacred river in the holy land of Vrindavan, and it became nice and white and clean. And then he ripped it into little teeny parts and made giwits. Giwits are little rolled up pieces of cotton, and then you put some ghee, clarified butter on it, then you put a fire on it, it smells very fragrant, and then we offer that in our ceremony called Arati to the Lord. So that's what he did because somebody else had given him ghee. And so he combined the two donations and made giwiks and offered Arati to the Lord. And then what happened? He came back the next day and she said, Oh, welcome, welcome. What can I give you? Have some jupatis. So she had totally changed because he didn't take her offense personally. Rather, he saw an opportunity to help her in her bhakti. That's called unconditional love that pure devotees have. And so he gave her, by using her dirty rag in the service of the Lord, he gave her what's called sukritis, or spiritual pious merits, sun scars, impressions on the heart, so that by having that again and again and again, one gets in deep contact with a pure devotee and develops pure devotion. Just one more quick one. There was a king, and he had just come back from hunting, and he was uh, very comfortably lying against a tree, and some boys were there, and they were throwing rocks at the tree so that the tree would drop mangoes. So because the king was under the tree, unbeknownst to the boys, the rock bounced into the eye of the king and he became blind in one eye, gushing blood. So the ministers of the king said, O king, please give us order to kill or at least torture that boy. 
So the king said, why? Here I am sitting under this mango tree, and I'm saying that no matter how many rocks the boys throw to hit those mangoes, what do the mangoes do? They return it with sweet fruits. So am I less than tree? No, I'm a king. So you can offer this boy a portion of my kingdom. And we can know that when anything so-called bad does happen to us, it's like if I punch somebody and they punch me back twice as hard, can I blame them? I started them. I cheated them first. I am the cause of my own activities. So, one, I never blame anyone. Two, no matter what anyone does, if I want to be a pure devotee and be able to chant the holy name of the Lord purely, which is the only way out of this vicious cycle of birth, old age, disease, and death, then I'll return anything with kindness and bhakti credits. So I'm going to stop here so Srila Maharaj, the real speaker of Krishna consciousness, and speak. <laughs> Sri Chaitanya Prabhu Bandi Nitva Nanda Sabhoditam Sri Nanda Nanda Nanga Bandi Radhika Charanadayam Sigopijana Shama Juktam Shbranda Bono Manaharam Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Adyaita Gadadhara Shivashadi Gaur Bhakta Vrinda Could you please raise your hand? Chant Hare Krishna Mahamad with me. Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Krishna Shila Prabhupada Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Thakur and his disciples, intimate disciples, his divine and great Shila Bhakti Vedanta Swami Prabhupada, also grand disciples, his divine and great Shila Bhakti Vedanta Narayan Goswami Maharaj, Bhakti Vedanta Maman Goswami Maharaj, as well as all the members. Whoever spreading the loving message of Lord Chaitanya, 
all over the world, not only, not only this, uh, only one place, America or India, all over the world, wholeheartedly, by practice and teaching most precious manner how to serve the divine couple through chanting Hare Krishna Mahaprabhu. All glories to all of them. All glories to Samarani Devi, who is giving very inspirational talk before me. Really, she was trying to establish every action have equal and opposite reaction. So we should be really, really careful about our karma. <laughs> Karma have reaction. So anyway, today Rashi Kama she left, right? Yeah. Where? Rashika, Radhika, they are like a our Sampradha asset. Future asset. Why? Because that something really attractive. And Lord Chaitanya movement is chanting and dancing. That chanting skill we have to observe and engage our mind towards Lord. Not like simply uh, dancing because melody forced me to dance. No, we have to relate. The embodiment of chanting. Who is embodiment of chanting? Divine couple, Radha, Krishna. So, all we are chanting. Huh? Why? So many people asking me, many places. So, what is the benefit of chanting? We know one answer, it, it, it will deliver us from this miserable mundane world, that's all. But Bhaktivarat Thakur, as well as all our different Acharya, they are giving their commentary. Sadhopo Jukto means Sadhopo Jogi. Whatever the, according to our Ability of practice. So we can think accordingly. Actually, most most of the devotees, especially me, and I'm not talking about others, we have only one problem. What problem? Mind has been captured. Captured by only material gain. All the time, right? Yes. If someone say, go and walk from the Miami to New York, mm -hmm. we are thinking now, what is the man gain? Huh? If, if someone say, okay, if you go by walk from Miami to New York, you can get $10,000. But you have to reach there uh, in four months. Right? So will you do that? Huh? But no money? No. Hmm? But therefore, Bhakti Munakta could explain to us that problem everyone has. Even we are going any places, we are always calculating how much material gain I have. Therefore, Bhakti Nanda Guru has said, first, you know, first we have to pray, Acharya. Acharya means, who is teaching us how to serve Krishna most precious manner, by example. Then like Acharya. So, Radharani in this context, Radharani is the most, most prominent 
Acharya in our lineage. So, therefore, you can see fast word of service, service accept manner that Krishna in Brahma Vaivarta Puran he described. Without Radharani's mercy, no one can get my mercy. It's text like this. Yeah. Shattam, shattam, puna, shattam, shattam, eva, puna, puna, bina, radha, prashadena, mat, prashadad, nabiddhati. Truth. Shattam is truth. Shattam, truth. Puna, shattam. Again, I am telling the truth. Shattam eva puna puna. Again, again, I'm telling the truth. What truth? Bina radha prashadena. Without Radharani's mercy, Prashad means mercy. Prashad means mercy. Bina radha means without Radharani's mercy. Bina radha without Radharani. Prashad means mercy. So Bina radha prashadena means without Radharani's mercy. Mat prashadat. My mercy means Krishna said, My mercy. Nobidate, no one can get. Therefore, you can see, first word is Mahamantra Hare. Identifying to whom? Radha. Radha. So, Bhaktivana Chaku teaching us. First, we express our problems. Although we are practicing spirituality, but our goal not to get spiritual gain. Our goal to get material gain. Right? Yes. So therefore, Bhaktivinoda Thakur clearly explained to us in this way, in the Sanskrit text like this. Hey Hare means Hey Radhe. Mat chittam chitta means mind, consciousness, heart, intelligence. All together it was chitta. Mm. Yeah. Mat chittam ritva bhava bandhanam. Bhava means material, bandhan means bound condition. So my chitta entangled with bound condition, material bound, material, material bound condition. Always think about material gain. Never insisting us to get spiritual gain. You can see. Always nowadays we are calculating where to get. Like uh, yesterday, Rasaraj, Rasaraj Sudevi came to me, came and they explained that there is a, there is a uh, Goswami came, I don't like to say the name, their name, and we are, they are trying to promote. Pure devotional path, how to observe. Like Ahara Suddhi, Suddho, Satta Suddhi, Satta Suddho, Durvashnati. Means, Ahar means food. If food becomes pure, what are eating? Then body becomes pure. Ahara Suddho, Satta Suddhi, Satta means body. Shakta Suddho Dhruvash Mriti. If body becomes pure, then we are eligible to eligible to remember Lord. Meditate Lord. So we are accordingly, they, they say, we are accordingly uh, explaining to my congressional member, but that Goswami came. And although they are not cured yet from their food habit, they all become initiated. Same mantra. One, 
Really, they want to tell you about them. Chanting mantra. Is it possible to tell you about them? Like a, like a, like a, I can give an example. You are cooking. Nice prasadam, like a dal. Nice dal. And one fly, big fly, <laughs> who was in your toilet, <laughs> flying and put in the dust. Oh. This is a good taste. It cooked very nice, nice spices, nice ghee, everything. Is it possible for you to accept it? Anyone no. want? No. <laughs> Similarly, you know. The tongue. Which tongue is going to chant pure name? In that tongue, if that tongue uh, tasting some itor bostu means inferior food, which is not offerable to Lord. Inferior. Not offerable to Lord, like a flesh. Is it possible that tongue can pronounce pure name? Mm. Dal was pure. Therefore, we don't want because this is a tasty dal, and we don't want to take it. Similarly, Lord also, Lord also, ah, they says, "How can I be there? How can I dance on this person tongue?" Tongue is dirty tongue. Am I clear what I want to say? Ahara shuddho shatto shuddhi shatto shuddho dhruvashmriti. If so, that Sudevi and Ashwaraj they said, now they got all mantra, whatever we got mantra, they also have same mantra. They have no any kind of restriction, food restriction, even the chanting restriction. They can chant maybe every day. They can chant also once in a week. That's a matter. The purpose of initiation what? Purpose of initiation is to deliver. Diksha kale bhakta kari atma samarpan Sei kale krishna tari kare atma samarpan Atma samarpan means surrender When diksha kale means at the time of initiation Surrender to whom? To our lineage Guru is not individual. I'm telling you again and again and again. If we feel it is individual, then you will miss the key point of our practice. We become sectarian, or Lord Chaitanya Bhumban is non sectarian. So, therefore, uh, Guru means entire parampara, like we are. We are when we are doing Vaksha Puja means Guru Puja. We are always keeping so many groups of Guru. Like Krishna Panchak. Krishna Panchak, Krishna with surrounding four four personalities. What is this? Krishna four expansion. Vasudev, Sankarshan, Pradumna, Aniruddha. Then Vaksha Panchak. Middle bash there with four personalities. Bash there is four uh, intimate disciples. Kohila Muni, Jai Muni Muni, Goi Shampya Muni, Shumanta Muni. Then Shanaka Adi Panchak. Middle Vishakshan and four Kumara. Shana, Shanakan, Shanandan, Shanat Kumar. Then, 
आचार्य पंचक आवार परंपरा नेमित भागवत परंपरा भागवत आचार्य जी सुखदेव गुस्सानी मिडल सुखदेव गुस्सानी सराउंडिंग फोर आचार्य मध्वाचार्य रामानुजाचार्य विष्णु शमी निम्बारक गौरव पंचक चैतन्य महाप्रभु मिडल एंड सराउंडिंग फोर पर्सनालिटी मतलब चैतन्य एक्सपेंशन व्हाट इज व्हाट इज दिस मिस नितनंद को हु और देखो तो क्या को हु राधा पंडित और शिवाश पंडित देन गुरु पंचक मिडल इनिशिएटिंग गुरु दीक्षा गुरु और सराउंडिंग परम गुरु परमी प्रोपर भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती ठाकुर देन परात्पर गुरु देन एक्चुअली परमेश्वरी गुरु इन दैट वे गौर कृष्ण दर्शन जमार भक्ति गुण ठाकुर and then at the end, Brahma, because our Brahma Parampara is Brahma Parampara, Brahma. In that way, our Prabhupada Dr. Siddhartha Sri Thakur actually taught us to do Guru Puja. Now I do what I am doing. We know that our conception, we have to bring Gurudev on the chair and worshiping him, that's all, right? Because our understanding is different. Our parampara is teaching us in one direction and we are practicing in another direction. Therefore, key point have been missed. Therefore, we are quarreling each other. Samarani Devi explained that. Uniting. This is uniting. Actually, Supreme Lord is non sectarian his name is non-sectarian, his philosophy non-sectarian, everything non-sectarian. All we are belongs to the same source. Don't think you are Shaivo, you are coming from Shiva. Don't think you are uh, Sakto, coming from the Kali. No. All we are coming from this lotus feet of Lord. Why? Back to home. Back to Godhead. We have to go back. Even this, Supreme Lord, when he explained to Brahma that Bhagavad Chatusloki, there is a few texts there. Yatha Mahanti Bhutani भूतेशु चर बचेश बनो प्रविष्टन्न प्रविष्टानी तथा तेशु न तेवश्यम वहरे वहरे गो यू कैन गो हेयर एंड देयर हेयर एंड देयर बट यू हैव टू कम बैक अगेन टू लॉर्ड ही सेड ही सेड एवरीबॉडी कमिंग फ्रॉम मी बैक टू मी दैट इज द एसेंस so all we, we can born in America, we can born in different castes, different, but actually all we are belongs to the same source and go back to the same source. That is the perfection of our human body. Only human life is eligible to chant. Dog. You can train them so many things, but they are not able to chant Hare Krishna Mahal. Are, are they able to chant? No. They are barking. Cow, cow, barking. Cow, they can only, they are mowing, <laughs> nothing else. So, human life, such, such a valuable life, is age of turmoil. We have to apply properly. Very simple procedure. Lord has been established to deliver us back to home, back to Godhead. What procedures? Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Supreme Lord, Prima Purushottam, he explained Harinam. Harinam, first word is Hare. 
fast enough to explain our actual problem. Mind, heart, and chitta have been stuck for material gain. All the time we are thinking about how to get material gain. Where I can get more material benefit. That we have to express. Then we can we can get rather and mercy. If it is coming from the bottom of our heart, Lord, obviously, um, Lord will bestow her mercy. So Radharani bestowed her mercy to us. So Makchitam Ritva Bhavo Bandhanam. You can see, I'm just slowly, slowly explaining to that uh, text uh, what Bhaktivinoda would compose. Math means mind, chitta means I will explain, uh, mind, heart, mind. intelligence, consciousness, is it, uh, ego, so that's materially bound condition. You may say, you may think that how is it possible if I materially entangled, it's not possible for me to free from that. Yes. You can do. Just to think about this, Balmiki Muni's past life. Do you know Balmiki Muni? Yes. Past life, he was a uh, Mafia Ratnakar. He name was Mafia. Remember Ratnakar? He was Mafia. Dakait. So it's not possible for him. His profession was killing, raping, cheating. Grabbing, <laughs> that's the, that type of profession. It's all sinful activities. But when he when he got the contact with the Lord uh, uh, Narod Muni, then he realized. This is a long story. I make it short. Uh, that he realized that whatever whatever he is doing, it is sinful. And no one can share because I, I am doing such uh, such activities to maintain my family. My family member not ready to share. So then he just surrendered to Narod Muni. What is, what is the remedy? Please let me know. The Narod Muni gave solution. What solution? Ram, John Ram. But such a sinful, you can see the same thing. They think the same thing happened with us. We, we know the benefit of chanting, but we have no interest for chanting. Right? Same reason, uh, which reason Valmiki Muni unable to pronounce Ram, instead of Ram, he was chanted Moram, Moram, Moram. So why? If I know benefit, we should be focused of chanting. But if all of you are thinking in your mind, no need to share with me. Just think about it, where your mind goes when a while of chanting. Same reason is there. Then Guru Narad Muni say, do. Just trying, insisting him to chant Ram, always say Maram. But he has sound faith on chanting. And sound, when I really form faith on chanting and form faith on, on his Guru's instruction. He was just Maram, 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 then Ram, Maram, I mean, in that way, curing the, all the dirt of their heart. When you chant, with, with firm faith on holy name and firm faith on parampara, then that will cure the dart of our heart. Whatever we accumulated, so many, uh, so many bad karmas, consequences we accumulated there, the heart stuck about there. So it become dirty. So 
It's Kiori, 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 Kiori. Then pure name appear. Ram. When pure name appear, Lord Ram appear in a jam. Therefore, you can see Valmiki Ramayan. He composed 300 years before of Lord Ram appeared physically on this earth. This is fact. So if just this is this is the one incident I can tell you that. Also this Brigadi, cruel hunter. Just think about his life. He used to feel happy when all the animal out of pain, their body is shaking, the body. That make him make him feel happy. But after initiation. One year after initiation, when he going ahead towards the Guru Dev, very carefully he is keeping his feet. He doesn't, he doesn't want to uh, pest any insect, ants. Before his nature was completely opposite. So uh, how long, how much we are going to clean our the our the the, the the dot of our heart, that much we feel compassion and kindness to all living beings. Therefore, we can see, I think this Radhika was chanting this. Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Jivedaya Kori To show us the compassion for all living beings. All living beings, that is the Vaishnava practice. Not any particular, okay, food, whatever we consider food, like, you know, you know some uh, few, few society, I don't like to say this, then so, then the society, few society, they say food is applicable. So meat, food, we can take meat, eggs, you know, in our, in our, I was reading in class 7 in our village school where your society came and there are sannyasis sitting there on the stage and they are taking mamlet, mamlet means eggs, mamlet, mamlet, I don't know what it is, mamlet, you think that, and same sannyasis they are speaking, jive daya tava parama dharma jive if we love all, all living beings, that is the symptom to serve Lord. Because I know the tattva from, the, from our previous teachers. I asked them, can I have a question for you please? Yes. So what you are eating now? I'm asking them. Can you take my blood? <laughs> Do you, do you consider it a living being or not? <laughs> then Sarnasi's face become red. <laughs> Bell. Uh, and then they scream off. And then, because I was a small boy, they then they take me out of the <laughs> out of the venom. We don't want you here. Because we know. From our previous teachers. <laughs> so there's no answer for that. So our, our Chaitanya's philosophy, Chaitanya's parampara is not like that. Aponi achari dharma jibere shikhai. Aponi na koine dharma shikhana na jai. First preserve, then propagate. Yeah? Preserve. Yeah, first preserve. Then propagate. First desire, then desire. That is our philosophy. So what happened? So machitam ritva bhavabandhanam unmochanam. We have to pray, Radharani. Acharya. Please. Deliver me from this bound condition. 
material bound condition. As soon as we have Radharani's mercy, then Krishna's mercy is like Krishna. Then we can pray to Krishna. Krishna, hey Krishna, Machitta Mahakar Shayaha. Before our Chitta always moving here and there, right? Very naughty, right? <laughs> Sitting and chanting, but mind somewhere else, right? Yes. But as soon as we get Radharani's mercy, mind fixed towards Krishna. Machittam Akar Shayaha. Please attack my mind towards you to serve you. Is it Bhaktivinoda Thakur? That's what the Sadhu Pojogi, Sadhu Ko Pojogi, Pojogi prayer. Means according to our condition. Ah, actually, my condition like this. Ah, my mind has been always naughty here and there, jumping. So I am praying that. And if, if you have such problem, you also pray like that. So, Machittam Akar Shayama. Please attract my chitta towards you. I am really suffering. Hmm? You know this Vidyapati? You know that one, one great, insane Vaishnava poet, Vidyapati. She used to write, you know, this language, maybe actually Moiti language. You know, Janak Rajas, Mithila, that language. So he, he composed very nice one poem named Parthuna, prayer. He says, Tatala Shai Kato Bari Bindu Shama Shutamita Ramoni Shama Je Tohe Bishari Moon Tahi Shamor Pilu Obo Moju Hobo Kona Kaje Tatala is hot. Shoi kata means sand. Bari means water. Bindu means drop. One drop of water, if you put on the hot sand, how much the, how much the duration of that, that water? Fraction of second. So our life, if you equivalent with Brahma's days, Brahma life, Brahma also 100 years, you are also 100 years. The duration of life. But in equivalent of Brahma's one day and your day, <laughs> Brahma's one day, if you calculate, what I say? Golden age, copper, silver age, copper age, and iron age. Shatta, Treta, Dhabar, Kali. Together, so one Chatur Yuga. 71 Chatur Yoga means one Manmantar. One Manmantar Bombas one day. They calculate. Bombas one day means how many times you are born and die. You think about it. Huh? So that, that, no, no, just if it's equivalent of Bombas day and our day, like you want drop of water. Our duration of life on drop of water on the hot sand. Tatala shai kato bari bindu shama. But in that short duration of life, we are supposed to keep, oh Lord, I supposed to keep my mind to engage, to serve you. My, my mind is supposed to engage, to serve you only. But Shuto Mito Ramoni Shamaji, but I engage that mind, that chitto, to serve my Shuto means children. Mito means friend. Ramoni means wife. Salam. Then he said, Tohe Vishwari Mona Tahi Shamor Pilu. 
तो माई माइंड इज सपोज टू एंगेज टू सॉल्व यू बट आई एंगेज टू दैट दैट चिल्ड्रेन माई फ्रेंड्स एंड वाइफ सराउंडिंग द सोसाइटी एंगेज दैट I become old, oh Lord. I become old. Abo moju abo kon kaje? I become old. How can I be useful to serve in this time? You know, I will become old. How can I be useful for your services? My mind wants to do so many things for your service, but physical form not allowing me to. therefore let's by make it shortly this at the end he says says madhav he madhav he krishna hum parinam nirasha i have no any hope to render any service for you mate tumari vishayasha i surrender to you please is engaged in your service so our identity we are eternal servant of supreme lord that we forget and we engage our mind our entire energy energy to serve only the family that society is surrounded by or the children relatives friends and wife chuto mito ramoni samadhi so we take the mind from that out and engage the mind to serve krishna let's think about this the samara nigi she can lavishly stay eh Six so is getting pension, I think, right? So I'm still alive, is in the temple, uh, in the in my uh, in India. The so minimum, the uh, minimum thousand five hundred, right? The pension? Huh? Well, in six hundred also enough for India. But why is he here? Whatever she get the taste of our practice, of our practice, she want to share. She is helping all the girls, right? Yeah. Mm. And boys. Huh? Boys and girls. Boys and girls both. <laughs> But my mom, she or she is hosting all the girls here. If I if I want to stay here, she will say no. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> But this is not the not the way to stay. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, so just as a sutto mitram, so in that way, always you have to pray to Krishna. Krishna, I have mercy of of, of Radha Rani. You promise you bestow your mercy on me now. Yeah. So what? Machitta makar shaya ho. Please attack my mind towards you. Don't allow my mind to jump here and there. Otherwise, we are chanting here. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Mind goes somewhere else. Some my 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 spiritual master used to say, going to sweet shop, Rasgulla. You know Rasgulla. I used to take a lot of not Rasgulla. <laughs> Student life, student life. I used to take when I go to sweet shop, minimum twenty five rupees. Ah! Because I got diabetic. Diabetic. Now not. Very well. Now not. The last four years, no, no more sweet. But you know, reaction going on. So anyway, mind always goes. My my spiritual master likes to take that. So he was ninety nine year old. Every 
Menu Murthy need Ross Gold. He's hitting. And after evening Gayatri, chanting Gayatri, he need at least six pieces of Ross Gold like this. <laughs> he has no teeth. <laughs> then I, I was always telling him, this, this is blood sugar. Are you crazy? <laughs> I am 99 year old. Still have no blood sugar. Doctors say no blood sugar. He wants to get up. When I, first day, I, I become his, his servant. So I, he used to take milk at night. I put one spoon, one teaspoon sugar. And then stomach, chalni, no, you know sugar, poor sugar, more sugar, more sugar. <laughs> the half of the cup, sugar, <laughs> 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 this is, this is, <laughs> I see a Brahmin who born, who born in Brahmin family, they love sugar, <laughs> sweet, yeah, so this is the, this is the, the one uh, I had also, I'm not born one in modern family, but you know. So, Machitta Makar Shayaha. Always Chitto should attract to us holy name, Ro Naam, Roop, Goon, Lila, Parikar, Vaishishta. In that stage, it will step by step come. First, we have to hear Hare. Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, 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 Rama,
blue sky, golden star, and then lightning. We enjoy it. But that description explained by Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur. The room, such a beautiful room. Good quality. What quality of Radha Krishna? Divine couple. Bhakta Vatsal. There's lots of lots of loving affection for these devotees. You can see Madhavendra Puripad, he was sitting in Vrindavan near Govinda Kund and he took vows not to beg from anyone and he will take only milk. That one, if you go there, if you beg, you can have a lot of prasad. Mm -hmm. that, uh, that I have experience, you know. I experience about it. Mm -hmm. You know, once, it was 1993, I was in Govardhan Parikrama. Night time I make one more Parikrama. Day time I also make one more Parikrama. In, in the pocket I have only two rupees. That I have to go back by what to from Govardhan, when I, Govardhan to Vrindavan. Chaitanya Govardhan, what Mathura wrote. But two rupees, if I if you are hungry, extremely hungry, what to do? Then I enter to Anur village, one house. I just say, Ma, Miss Ma, Miss Mada, Ruti to put hammer. Can I have chapati, please? <laughs> In that language, would you put hammer? Then I saw so many windows, many women showing their face. Say, Baba, Ruk Jaye. Means, I'm not Baba. I'm talking about 1993, means, you know, how old I'm. That time I am only 25, Baba. 30. <laughs> 30, 30, 32, 33 years old. 64. 31 years old. No? 29 years old. 20, 29 years old. So, anyway, then I saw in 5 minutes, 16 pieces, hot chapati, not like a leftover chapati, night time, they can No. Hot chapati in 5 minutes. Wow. Then they are asking, do you have any kind of container? And no. I want to give you some chai. Chai means actually buttermilk. They give me a plastic bag, water in there, and then, but without sweet, I cannot take anything. <laughs> <laughs> then I have to find out that Guru, Guru Malas, Jaggery, Malas right there. I just go out, then I show one boy, maybe 10, 10, 12 years old boy, he bringing maybe 20 buffalo together. Then ask him, is there any kind of grocery shop nearby? This, this, he asked me, Baba, why? Yeah, I want to buy I want to buy some good because it's a party here, I don't eat hungry. Just he left all the buffalo alone and he went running towards one one direction and bring hot you know hot you know sugar cane sugar cane good in jaggery. Hot, hot, hot. This much wanted again. <laughs> then I went to Govindu and yeah. took that. <laughs> but this, look, if you beg, then you can have. But Madhavendra Puripa never, he took vow, no begging. And only drink milk only, no chapati. So at the end of the day, who brought the milk for Madhavendra Puripa? Just think about it. Bhakta Whatever you have desire, Lord always will be. Sometimes you can see, Lord says, Ami biggo, Shai murke vishaya kyano dibo, Sa charanam vrita diya vishaya bulai bo. One third, yeah? One third. Means, 
I have knowledge. And that's some devotee asking some material gain. He is really the like Dhruva Maharaj. He purpose of meditation, meditation to get further throne. But in this regard, Lord says, Ami Bhikkhu, I have knowledge. I know the consequence. Why I give him, uh, why, why I encourage him to get some material gain. My Bishwai means here, uh, sense enjoyment, encourage him for sense enjoyment, fulfilling the sense enjoyment desire. No, I don't like to give. Instead of that, I like to give him my charanamrit, fifth bathing nectar. I let him forget all the desire, since in German desire, forget it. So which is which rare devotee, for them Lord is doing. But for us, while we are chanting, Mayadevi always speaking, oh, like me, I want to be guru, I want to be, want to be, I want so many numbers of disciples. The Lord gives us, give us. But our purpose is not to accumulate disciples, accumulate numbers, accumulate, accumulate opulence. Our purpose is to become completely free from all material attachment. All material attachment. And establish spiritual attachment. Spiritual attachment means attachment of chanting, attachment for Vaishnava Seva, like Vasanti Devi. Vasanti Devi, how she served Samarani Devi. <laughs> also, recently I saw also Radhika also. Whenever she is getting time, she also coming because last year. She order me to come to Samarani. Yeah. <laughs> I am okay, definitely like that. Although I had no program to come, I am. The Radhika's order I explain, I convey to the Anuradha. Just please make one program, at least one week program in Miami. So anyway, so I cut my South America program. And come here one week. Thank you. So, so look, the Radhika also following the footsteps of Basanti Devi. The Sword Vaishnava is also pleasing Lord. Hmm? That is the symptom. You know, that when Lord happy with us, serving, chanting, serving Vaishnava, that makes Lord happy. Lord happy with our activities, you can be happy also. When when you feel too much anxiety while you are while you are practicing, something wrong. Something wrong is going on. You have to pray to Lord from the bottom of your heart. Oh please, your mind is goes here and there. You have to pray, please, Lord, please attack my mind towards you. I want. You know, my spiritual master, it was 1994, 1995. You know, one, four or five devotees from Ishkan, they came and it was 3.30 to 4 p.m. in his room. I was there. They are asking that all the white scheme, uh, foreign devotees. They say, Maharaj, we'd like to know about Siddha Deho. As soon as the Siddha, Siddha Deho means actually, actually cure. Siddha Deho means actually eternal form, you can say. But to know about our eternal form. 
then as soon as they say so, my spiritual master turned his face toward them. They are sitting there. After some time, I'm turning his face toward them. What Siddha? Siddha means boil, actually in Bengali called boil. So potato boil? <laughs> or Arbi boil? Arbi means kochu, you know, but yam. What Siddha? Then he says, Gurudev asking him, Baba, do you know the meaning of Nayanam Baladashudhara? Badanam Gadagadaruddhaya Jira? Ulakai Nichitanga Babu Kadatapa Nama Gohane Do you know about the meaning? The Dharma sitting room. To see the Guru Mahal a grave voice, then it's just sitting there. Wow, if you have no relation with chanting, how can you establish your relation with the service? Siddha Deva. Mm -hmm. When you have relation, then you can have this, this situation. Nayanangalada Shudhavaraya. Always crying. Tear, tear. Like a monsoon coming from the tear. You don't have tear. You don't have any kind of realization. So how can we get the Siddha Deo? Then he says that, Baba, I am also, but out of his humility, he said, I am also in this direction, finding the Siddha Deo. But he, he has Siddha Deo. So anyway, so machittam aparashayaha, the second word, third word, each word, each word of Mahamantra, Bhakti Nathaku is showing us such, this, 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 actually, such type of actually explanation, direction. Third word, Krishna, he says, Hey Krishna! Now, Hare Krishna, third word, Hare. Hey Hare! Shom Madhurijana Machittam Haro. With the sweet, Past times, we still my mind towards you. Nam, Rup, Gun, Lila. Past times. The stage is there. Our previous teacher, all they explain properly, nicely. If you just go that direction, then you can, you can reach the destination. Destination, we are not coming here just to simply jump, jump, jumping, chanting, dancing. We have some goal, right? Yeah. Our goal to realize spiritual practice. Spiritual practice realizes a means to make ourselves blissful in under any circumstances. It may be favorable, it may not be favorable. It's not favorable. Someone accusing you, hey, what are you doing so? <laughs> ah, but you are not doing so anything, anything wrong, but accusing. You still golden ornament from here. Oh, you did so, you did that, so many things. But you don't know anything about it. In this case, you have to know, near future I am going to do so. Therefore, Lord sent these personalities to protect me, to prevent me from this type of uh, wow. activities. If you think in, in, in this manner, you are silent. Right? Like a I saw actually, actually Radhika doing so. Anyone accusing her, she never complained. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> so anyway, 
So in that way, if you go in that direction, the Hare Krishna Mahamantra chanting, its utility, most prominent utility is this, it is cleansing the dart of our heart, which is not possible to clean in any kind of any kind of medication not exist there. You take, take pill and can, all the dart can cure. No. Only medication is Lord's name. Lord's name. Bhattamana, in the Padmapuran says, Bhattamana scha jat papam jad bhutam jad bhavishyati tat sarvang nirdhahatta su govindam la kirtanat at present, what the one? Whatever you're committing up, when you're walking, so many ants, you're pesting, so many insects are pesting. Huh? By any way, unknowingly you are committing it. Although you don't want to commit any bad karma, but it is happening. Mm. Unknowingly. But the manashtra, yat papam, whatever sinful activity we are committing. You have the Bhutan in the past, what you committed. You have the Bhavishyati in future, what you are in the past and present, that karma's consequence take you to the another direction to move, to make your heavy consequence, heavy, heavy sinful activities. So, therefore, you the Bhavishyati, the Tat Sarbang, everything. Oh, <clears throat> absolutely destroyed. How? Govinda Kirtanat. How? Rashika was chanting. This is chant from the bottom of our heart, under the guidance, under the shelter of Paramparas. Non sectarian mode. Whoever listen, whoever will listen, the chanting, what when, when Rasika chanting, Radhika chanting, <coughs> they will be, their bad karma consequently destroyed. Non sectarian. Non sectarian. Without offense. When offense takes place, when sectarian mutant. I want to get my name. Everybody should get ISO ISO toilet. IQ of this program. No. I am chanting for the satisfaction of divine couple. Satisfaction of Vaishnavas. That is the most important part to, to develop in our consciousness. That, that chanting will help. Govinda Mana Kirtana, everything will destroy. Anyway, I have program. Rashuraj and Sudevi's house. Then after that, I have to fulfill the desire of. She needed to be with Bhanumati, not this Bhanumati. <laughs> Ukrainian Bhanumati, not. She needed to be with Bhanumati. Yeah. I have to go there also. <laughs> she three times called me. <laughs> so I have to go there. So anyway, so this is my last program here today. Tomorrow morning I'm leaving. So I'm humbly paying obeisance to Samarani Devi, all the senior devotees and keeping due respect to you and all, and humbly requesting to you and all that if I say anything which is hurting you, please excuse me. <laughs> and, and if I say anything which is helping you to, to develop your practice, bless me to carry the mission of Lord Chaitanya. Yeah. So I think uh, Rasuraj and Sudhavi inviting all of us, right? Mm. Uh, yes. Are you coming, Radhika? Uh? <laughs> Rashika? Yes. 
Now he went to Who is this? Oh, yeah, he's Shaduk. 